Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol CELZ. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I let you this time frame that does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Been doing this analysis on a pretty routine basis, so that's where these green and red line annotations are coming from. Actually did it on Friday, and today was a great move. Um, I guess there's a little perspective that goes into it. Yeah, there was a little bit of a buzzkill factor, but really that all depends on your perspective. I mean, if you are a day trader and you bought there, or maybe you bought right there, or heck, you bought right there and you wanted to sell within you know 25 minutes after buying, then yeah, this late day action here, Kind of kind of a buzzkill. But from the big picture of things, I get it, the price did pull back. But emphasis on big picture. From the big picture, the bulls still have plenty of opportunity to build a higher base, and that's the name of the game. Case in point, and really the easiest way to continue to monitor this, for those of you that have watched videos in the past, you've heard me talk about this level time and time again. But a very easy way to kind of gauge the health of the big picture of things is just that purple line right there, the 50 period simple moving average. As I've said before, as long as the price stays above that purple line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, hence its name, a moving average. So as that line moves higher and higher, as long as the price stays above it, the bulls are in full control. I mean, think about it. Here's a pullback right here, but the price stayed above the purple line. Here's a pullback right here, the price stayed above the purple line. And you can see in both those pullbacks, things from the big picture of things turned out to be perfectly fine. There is a nice bounce there. There's another nice bounce there. Now, am I saying it's guaranteed to bounce every time? I wish trading was that easy. So no, there's no such thing as a guarantee. However, from the grand scheme of things perspective, you gotta let history kind of tell you how things have been going. And so far, pullbacks have happened on multiple occasions, but all, all in all, as long as the price stays above that purple line, things have turned out to be okay. So as far as resistance level, uh, resistance levels 0.026, still that key level, of resistance, it was, I would agree, weakened up today, uh, but because the price could not close up above it, that's still gotta be you know, the initial area of resistance. If the price can push through 0.026, the next key level looks to be right up there around 0.028. As far as supports, hopefully you kind of uh, connected those dots. That purple line is definitely that ideal level. If the price can hold above the purple line, the next key overall level of support at 0.019. So sure the price pulled back a little bit later on in the day, but all in all, Price still has plenty of opportunity to build a higher low, so let's see if the bulls can get that job done or not. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point, and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.